You might be trying to go ahead and figure out how to get your product.keys on Ryujinx. Now doing this is actually very basic. The first thing you want to do, whether you're on Mac or PC, it really doesn't matter. You want to go ahead and make your way over to Ryujinx, your specific application. You want to go ahead and click on File, and you want to go ahead and click on Open Ryujinx Folder. Now what this is going to do is it's going to open up a folder on the side of your desktop, and you want to just go ahead and click into System. This is basically where we're going to go ahead and drag and drop two files that we're going to be downloading, this product keys file and whatever this file is right here. So next up, what we're going to want to do now is we want to go ahead and make our way over to this website right here, which is prodkeys.net. You can look at the URL right there. It may change in the future, but as of right now, this is basically where I went ahead and downloaded it. And I basically did this for the first time yesterday and it ended up working out very well, which I'm really happy about. Now, there's two things you can do. You can download whichever ones you want. For this case, we're going to be downloading the Reunjinx prod keys. So click right there, and now these will update over time depending on whatever firmware you're on. So go ahead and click on download right here. So go and click on download, and it's going to go ahead and download this link. Now, we want to go and click back, and we also want to go ahead and click on switch firmware down here, and we're going to want to do the same exact thing. Whatever prod key you just downloaded, you want to make sure it matches up with the firmware, and you want to go ahead and download that as well. So these two things should be downloading. I pretty much have already done both of those things. I've already downloaded both. I've already downloaded both of these things. So my firmware, which was right here, and my product keys, which was right here. So what we're going to want to do first of all is we want to go ahead and unzip our product keys right there. And it's going to go ahead and create this folder down here for us. So in this case, what we can do is just go ahead and open up this specific you know, product keys file. And again, we want to go ahead and drag and drop these two files right into here. So just like how I showed you earlier in this specific folder that we opened up in your system, drag and drop the two files we just downloaded here, and you are good to go. The product keys thing shouldn't be coming up anymore. Now the next thing we want to do is we want to go and make our way back into Reunjix right here. So now what you can do is you can go under Tools, which is right here, and you can go and click on Install Firmware, and it's going to allow us to essentially install you know, a firmware from an XE or a ZIP. We want to click right there. And now it's going to allow us to basically use that firmware that we just downloaded from product keys, that website. So we can go and click here, double click on it, and that's going to install that firmware. It takes like a couple of minutes. It may take like a minute or two. It's not like instant, but it shouldn't take too long. And you'll get a little pop-up that tells you it's installed. And after that, you are good to go. That is basically the main setup. And you can now basically use Reunjinx as you normally would. So and that is basically how to do it. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.